Okay, this is an instruction video on how to change the internal printer on the QBC Star. These are the recommended tools. We got a small flathead screwdriver, a pair of pliers, a Phillips screwdriver, um, a longer number one Phillips screwdriver, and the internal printer. So the first thing we do is take off the, the front door here with the small uh, flathead screwdriver. So what you want to do is just gently uh, pry both sides, pop the right side off first, and then the left side comes out really easy. You don't want to pull on it because it will snap those tabs off. Secondly, with the number two Phillips screwdriver, there are three screws in the front. You want to tilt it up and show them where the three screws are. We got a screw here, got a screw here, we got a screw here. And then there's two on, there's one on each side. There's one here and on the other side right there. So all five of those screws need to be removed. So once this final screw is removed, you will be able to take the top off of the star to access the printer. Now there are some ribbon cables inside of the star, so be careful when taking the top of it off. You don't want to damage any of these cables in the back. So pull it straight up off. And then turn it to the side so you don't tear the cables. Yeah, you want to make sure you sit it where it's not going to fall over and, and tear those cables. So this is the tower that houses the internal printer. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, disconnect it from the board, which is this colorful cable right here. Using a pair of pliers, you can just pull that connection out. And then the one at the top. And then there's one cable connected to the printer that just pulls right out. And then using the number one Phillips screwdriver, you unscrew the screws that hold the printer to the tower. Then you can pull the, the malfunctioning printer out, set it aside, dispose of it. Then you can put the new one on. Just kind of fish the cables down through that hole where we pulled the old ones out.
fish them through down here. like the, the same way that it came out. Put the three screws back in. Let them all loose to get all three in. cable plugs into the top connection on the board. Make sure they're seated correctly. And the red, black, and yellow. connector. You gotta orient it with the tab up on the bottom connector. finish pushing it on. Okay, so we got the blue and black one on the top of this board and down at the bottom we have the yellow, red, and black one. So you want to make sure they're fully seated. And you want to connect this cable back to the printer. Also making sure that it is seated in there correctly. Lock it in by pushing with the little screwdriver. So at this point it is installed. The only remaining thing to do is to put the top back on it. Again, make sure you're careful of those ribbon cables in the back. Push the ground strap down in behind the black back panel. And then slowly fold her down. Make sure you don't pinch any of the connections as you're closing it. You're gonna hear it click on there when you seat it. Make sure there's no wires sticking out the back. Make sure you have no wires hanging out the back or the sides. Kind of fits nicely onto this screen. Um, if that's a little off-centered, you can move that gently by hand just to center it up in the window. Our printer door is disattached. Yours might be there. It would just fall back into place. Okay, and you want to you don't want to tilt it back to put the screws back in it because the, the top will fall off again. So um, the two longer Phillips screws go into uh, that position that you see right there. One goes in there and one goes over on the left side.
and the remaining shorter Phillips screw goes where that door was. Kind of like push back on that that black piece. Make sure the screws are tight. And once you confirm that they're tight, you can then tilt it on its back. And keep in mind that there are two screws here. Make sure uh, the left side is longer than the other one. So the longer one goes in the left side of the star. And the shorter one goes in the right. At that point, you can set it down in its correct position, and the door has to go back on it. So it's got a tab on each side that just kind of snaps into that, and it fits right in there. Right side, on the left side, and it just kind of sits up there. And that is the internal printer installation on the QBC Star.